I've got the piers marked on the ground with the lime like I did on the smokehouse when I dug the, dug the footing for it. I just put lime on the ground that will give me a, an outline to actually dig to. And we're going to dig these footings probably 14, 16 inches deep. They're two foot square, two by twos, and we'll put steel in them, treat them for, or do the termite treatment on it. But I'm going to show you how I came up with this on where to actually put them and where I've got them spaced out. The first thing I did was to take my level and plumb down to the ground and I drove a stob in the ground, a little small stake. I did that on either end and I stretched the string, get over here where you can actually see that string that's on the ground, all the way down to the other end and I made a mark on the string which is actually 10 inches from this intersection. That will be the center of the pier. And from that point to the ground, I, I used a plumb bob. And you can see I put a screw in the ground right there. And then I came 12 inches either side of that screw in line with the string. And I got my lime on the ground. And then I came out 12 inches from the string and got a mark. That will be my outside perimeter of the uh, of the little of the footing. And then I'll pour the footing and then I'll set a form and put the piers on top of the footing. And there will be a piece of all thread that goes all the way through the footing and all the way through the pier and it will come up through the seal log 10 inches past the outside perimeter of the log. There will be uh, the six inch log from here back. And then I wanted to come another four inches back to the string and put my anchor there. So the anchor, the all thread anchor will be out of the way of the notch. I won't have to worry about that. And then we also marked one in the center down here and this is the actual eight foot from the corner this building is 12 by 16 and i wanted to peer right in the center of the seal log to to give it the support that i wanted to have and at the other end i came back the the 10 inches came back to 10 inches from the, the actual corner and dropped a plumb bob and marked my perimeter of the, of the pier for the footing out. You can see the little screw there that I that stuck in the ground and measured out 12 inches all the way fr from that. Measured out 12 inches either way to get the outline. Now what I can do, I can roll up all of my strings and get them out of the way and we can start digging. That's Cordell. He was so kind to come over and help me dig these pier holes today. I really appreciate this young man. The world needs more like this fella here. We got the piers all dug, 14, 16 inches on the bottom. This is the row of piers that will be on the front of the cabin. And this row of piers are next to the woods, be the back of the cabin. We've got some dirt there that I'll just level out kind of just drag it down there in the woods and knock it down. And I'm really thankful to have these piers dug. Now I've got to go into town with my trailer and pick up 54 bags of quick creek, the high strength. And I'll be using my little mixer, cement mixer that I got back in the summer to mix and 
to pour these footings and then after that sets up then I'll build forms for my piers. Okay, I've got the, the footings ready to pour. I have the, the steel grid uh, rebar in there with my uh, anchor rod that will come up. It actually will go all the way through the, uh, the piers themselves. Uh, as you can see, I have a, a connection nut there. When I set the piers, I can pull that on up to the top and connect another piece of all thread to that which will go through the seal log and I actually anchored the seal log down on top of the pier. What I did, I put the string that we used to lay out the, the footings, I've got a mark on them where these uh, rods, anchor rods need to be and I came over three inches which would be the center of the log. That string on the ground is somewhat close to the outside perimeter and uh, I will bring that rod up through the piers and through the seal log and it's about three inches over from the outside perimeter the string line there I'm not sure how well this is going to show up but on the bottom of these rods I put two nuts in the washer jamming against each other and I put another one up at the top close to the top of the footing itself and I wired these to the grade stakes and just drove the grade stake in and I had my my rod where I wanted it so hopefully this will work and will stay pretty steady it's not going to move too much I'm wiggling it but it's not it's not going to move very much and it'll stay pretty stationary until I get this poured and then sure enough ain't going nowhere